polygenic or quantitative inheritance polygenic trait is a trait that is controlled by a group of non allelic genes all polygenes can be found in the individual in polygenes many genes control a single trait and environmental features have a higher influence in the determination of a trait and they are located at different loci of non homologous chromosome so this is the definition of a polygenic inheritance so what did we tell we told that they are non homologous and non allelic genes so if you consider this this is a pair of chromosome and this is also a pair of chromosome so these are called as homologous this also is called as an homologous chromosome but when i consider this and this chromosome they are not homologous pair but they are non homologous chromosome so this is the, the meaning of non homologous non allelic now suppose say this is a gene we know that the gene is has an alternate form allele okay so this is the gene with its alternative allele and so this is also another gene with its alternative form of allelic so interaction between this and this is known as non allelic interaction so hopefully you are clear with this so non homologous and non allelic these are the two important features of your polygenic inheritance and we are telling that environmental factors also play an important role in the trait that is true for example when we take the skin color you know that our skin color is because of the gene what we have inherited but also you know that the environment okay the physical features also play an important role on the skin color the how much we are exposed to which temperature that also defines the color of the skin that is the meaning of the how environment influences the skin color along with the genes we, what we have inherited it is called as quantitative inheritance what is the meaning of this quantitative the quantity of inheritance depends on the dominant allele that is how many dominant alleles are present in an individual that determines the quantity okay whether it is they are having two dominant three dominant or six dominant this all defines the quantitative inheritance so polygenic inheritance that means a trait depends on more than two genes or quantitative that is it is depended on the number of dominant alleles an individual is carrying is known as polygenic inheritance or quantitative inheritance and these inheritance do not follow the mendelian ratio some of the example as i said earlier the skin color hair color height eye color the risk for diseases and resistance you can see that one family is resistant to particular sorts of disease but you can see the other family they are not resistant to the diseases because it is the type of genes they are carrying along with them and also you can see that always whenever we are talking about polygenic inheritance they follow a bell shaped curve so we shall take an example of the skin color and study about it so three or more genes represent the skin color and here all the capital alphabets represent the dominant trait okay that is if they are dominant if they are in capital letters it means that they have a dark skin color because of the production of the melanin when it is written in small alphabet then it is a recessive gene that is they are not producing any melanin pigment and that individual is an albino so dominant they are dark skin recessive they are albino because they are not producing any melanin now we shall take the example wherein the parents okay 
one you can see all a b c are in capital letters that is dominant so this individual is a black individual okay a cross between a black individual and an albino individual because all are in small letter will produce an intermediate color that means their offspring will be having an intermediate color between the black and the albino so in the f1 generation when a cross is made between these two okay what do we get in the f1 generation we get this type of genotype which is a heterozygous genotype you can see they are having a dominant allele so also they are having a recessive allele so when so this is the first generation when we make a cross between this type of heterozygous individual in the f2 generation what we will get in f2 when we take a cross between these and this individual which we obtain from f1 in f2 we get a ratio of 1 is to 6 is to 15 is to 20 is to 15 is to 6 is to 1 how did we get this we shall see in this chart so keep it in the mind we are crossing this heterozygote individuals okay so in the row and the column you write the respective genes see here as i've written here first all are dominant and the last one you see all are recessive so in the second one you see that make at least two genes dominant your a and b your a and c and here b and c so two of the genes are dominant so it will be easy for you to remember okay so in the next only one of the genes are dominant your a your b and your c so how many outputs we have got we have got not output in turn it is the input so we have got eight so you can write the eight here in the row and eight in the column so it is the male and the female okay so when we make a cross you know how to do it for example the sixth box we will write it as capital a capital a capital b capital b capital c and capital c right if you come here it will be all recessive okay capital small a small a small b small c another example shall we take okay here look this one okay small a small a capital b capital b okay small c and capital c so small c and capital c see this is how you do the draw a punnett square and write the what is the phenotypic ratio of an individual and here to make it much easier what i have written is the number zero means it is albino here okay that is they are recessive individual they do not produce the melanin and one means they are very fat skin two means they are fat and three is the intermediate color that is what we got in the f1 progeny okay four means that individual is dark five means that particular individual is very dark and six is the individual is black in color so how many individual we got who are black in color we got one that is what we have written here one individual how many of them are albino only one look at this here okay so next what is this 15 15 means it is four right five means it is the six okay so 15 individual means this four one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen okay and what is the four four are individuals who are dark so 15 individual in this offspring are they'll be 
dark in color. So 20 is 3, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. So here also we have another 10. So that is 20. 20 or 3. What is 3? Intermediate color. So, so out of this 8 combination, we have got 64 phenotypes wherein the ratio is written as 1 is to 6 is to 15 is to 20 is to 15 is to 6 is to 1. So when you write your task like this, it can become easy. Okay. So this is about the polygenic inheritance. Next, we shall see what is multiple allelism is. So both polygenic inheritance and multiple allelism both are different. So multiple alleles refer to a series of three or more alternative form of gene. Only two types of alleles are present in an individual. Multiple alleles can be found within the population. Whereas polygenic, what did we tell? We told that it is found in the individual. It can be found in the individual. Whereas multiple alleles, we are telling that it is found in the population. So here we are not referring to the number of genes. We are referring to the number of alleles. That is why it is called as multiple alleles. So only one gene consists of more than two alleles. And environmental factors are no influence. They don't play any, have any effect on the trait. Whereas in polygenic environment did play a role. And multiple alleles are located on the same loci of the homologous chromosome. So if this is my homologous chromosome, a pair of homologous chromosome, multiple alleles, what is it? So here there is a gene. Okay. And suppose say this gene is representing the type of blood group an individual is having. So an individual can have an A blood group. He can have B blood group. He can also have an O blood group. Right? A, B and O. So this is a homologous chromosome. It is having a gene which is representing the blood and that is the blood group. And what are the type of blood group? We usually tell that a gene has a two alleles, alternative. But here, what is happening? It is multiple alleles. So, we can have either A blood group, we can have B or O blood group. So, A and B are what? They are your dominant allele and O is the recessive allele. So, in co-dominancy also, you have studied when A and B come together, they, you study that they are co-dominant. That is, both are dominant. That is, A cannot mask B. B cannot be masked by A. Both can be dominant. Whereas, A O is a recessive. So, this clearly defines the difference between what is multiple allelism and polygenic traits are. Polygeny means more number of genes are involved. Multiple allele means more number of alleles are involved. So, a very good example of multiple alleles is the blood group AB, AB and O. Okay. So, these are the important alleles A, B and this is O. These two are dominant whereas this is the recessive one. So, what are the outputs we get from out of these three? We shall see that here. See? A cross between this male and female, if they are having, this is the blood group and this is here, the blood group here. You can see A and A, they give only one type of blood group, that is A type. Here it is B and here it is O. Whereas this individual, the individual's blood group is A. Why? Because A is dominant over B. And here it is B, since B is dominant over A. But here what happened? It was O because 
there is nothing to dominate them. Only the recessive genes alleles are present here. And what about here? You see, both A and B blood groups are present. Okay, that particular individual will have A blood group and B blood group because both of them are dominant. So this is about the multiple alleles. So you can have a A blood group, B blood group or AB blood group and O blood group.